Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to another Solid Gold video. I hope you all are having a great day. I, for one, am really excited about this video because I'm doing another live goldfish unboxing video for you guys. I got the fish from Dandy Arandas. If you're not familiar with Dandy Arandas, it is a website in the United States where you can buy fish that are shipped directly from China and it's pretty much, in my opinion, the only place in the United States to get really high quality goldfish. I've been getting my goldfish from Dandy Randas for about the past five years or so. Um, I've probably gotten several shipments from Ken at Dandy Randas over the past five years that I've been buying from him. And every time I've just been really impressed with the quality of the fish, the health of the fish, um, the size of them too, they're always bigger than you expect even though he does give you like a size estimate. You also see photos before you buy the fish and that's the other thing, I'm always blown away by how much prettier the fish are in person than they are in the pictures, even though the pictures are really awesome to begin with. Now shipping fish internationally and then making them available for sale is not an easy thing to do. Just the fact that Ken with Dandy Randas does it and makes it look so easy um, it really goes a long way to me to say what an awesome job he does at this. And I, for one, am just really grateful to be able to have the opportunity to purchase these fish in the United States because if it weren't for small businesses like Dandy Randas, we wouldn't have that opportunity or at least it would not be as easily accessible as it is. So yes, while the fish are kind of expensive, in my opinion, it's well worth the cost for what you're getting. Last time I got fish from Dandy Arandas was about a year ago. At that time I got like five or six, I think, fish. But this time I only got one. I, as you guys know, I have pretty limited space these days for new fish, but I still wanted to add to my uh, breeding stock of goldfish. So I got a, what I think is a female, fairly certain it's a female, red and white butterfly telescope, of course and I'm really excited to show you guys. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So as you can see the fish is packaged in a cardboard box and then inside of the cardboard box there is kind of another layer to that um, of styrofoam and that is to insulate the box from temperature changes. And then I also got some Soylent Green gel food. So we have one big bag that is containing the packing peanuts with the fish in it and that is probably to prevent water leakage if the bag the fish is in opens up during shipping and water leaks out. And then we got packing peanuts to absorb any shock of the box being dropped by accident, hopefully by accident, but you never know with these delivery people. And here's the fish, and it looks like there was a little tiny bit of bag leakage because some of these packing peanuts are sticking to it, but yeah, there is a little tiny leak going on, but nothing too bad. She still has plenty of water in there. Look at how beautiful she is. You know what I love about Dandy Aranda's fish? Honestly, every time I order one, it's beautiful in the pictures, and the pictures do a great job of showing the fish at their best but then it arrives and it knocks my socks off because it's even more beautiful than I thought it was so oh it's so exciting oh my gosh these keep getting stuck so now I am going to remove the outer bag because there are two bags on here my cats are all really curious about what's going on Here she is. Look at that beauty. Can you guys see that? 
She's beautiful. I hope it's a she. I think it is. She's got maybe a little bit, just a little bit of red streaks showing up in the fins, but not bad at all considering that she was just shipped to me. So now what I'm going to do with this bag is I'm going to let it float in the aquarium. This is the quarantine tank that she's going into. I'm going to let her float in there because the water feels quite cool and the water in the aquarium is a lot warmer than that. So I'm going to let her float in there for about 20 minutes or so until the water temperatures match and I'm not going to open the bag because actually as soon as you open the bag and expose the water inside of here to the air it makes any ammonia that might be built up in the bag become more toxic immediately so almost immediately so you just want to float it to match the temperatures and then open the bag after the temperatures match and transfer the fish immediately from the bag water into the tank and you want to use a quarantine tank you don't want to put the new fish right into your main tank even with an extremely good quality source like Dandy Aranda's, it's still always a good idea just to do a quarantine. She's absolutely beautiful. Honestly, as awesome as the pictures are it never does the fish justice because once you see it in person it's just amazing this the things that I usually look for in a butterfly for my breeding stock um, is a nice short full stocky chubby body a tail that is really spread out when viewed from above so it actually looks like a butterfly with outspread wings and hers definitely does I love it um, Eyes that are large, obviously telescope eyes, but not too large. I don't like when the eyes are so large that they wobble around as the fish moves and swims. And her eyes are perfect. Obviously, of course, you want the eyes to be the same size on each side. Um, color is kind of, honestly, the last thing I look for in a fish because I definitely prefer a nice um, body type over a nice color. But a nice color is a plus, and I do think she has a beautiful color. She, the red that she has is nice and vibrant and deep and dark and bright, so I like that. And I do tend to favor metallic fish as opposed to nacreous or matte um, calico types for now, but I'm sure eventually I'll have some of each. Here she is from the side. It looks like she has a little tiny something on one of her pectoral fins. Maybe just a little bit of damage or something. And it looks like the leading ray of her dorsal fin has a tiny bit of damage as well. But really not too bad. I think what I'm going to do is just keep an eye on it. Make sure it heals well. I don't like um, using medications unless absolutely necessary. And I don't feel it's necessary at this point, I think it'll clean up really nicely if she can just have some fresh clean water. So I just thought I'd talk about while we're waiting for the water temperature to match I thought I would talk about my quarantine tank setup a little bit. This is a 40 gallon tank, 40 gallon breeder and I have it set up very sparsely, no decorations, no substrate, no nothing just in case. Um, if for a quarantine tank you do want to have it's set up very sparsely just in case you were to need to treat the fish for anything. Um, you also don't want a whole lot of light and actually if I weren't filming a video um, I would probably not have the light on at all but as it is I just have one. This, is, this light fixture holds four light bulbs and I just have one on just because I wanted you guys to actually be able to see the video that I was filming but it would be ideal if you didn't um, have any light when you first introduce the fish into the quarantine tank. For a quarantine tank, bigger is always better. You want enough space so that the fish never experiences poor water quality or feels cramped because if it does, it won't be able to recover from shipping properly and it might become sick with something just because it's stressed out. And look at Grim. Grim, is that scary? Is that a scary thing in there? 
Oh boy, it's really scary. It's okay. It's okay, Graham. It's just a fish. <laughs> what the heck? He's scared of new things. And he's never seen a fish in a bag before, so. That's new. Oh my god, look at him. Graham, you're a goofball. I filled up this tank with water last night and let it sit overnight and during the day today so that the water would be um, aged appropriately just in case, you know, just as an extra precaution. I don't usually age my water that I use for water changes, but I figured it doesn't hurt. Plus it was all ready by the time the fish got here this morning, so I didn't have to scramble around while the fish was waiting in the box trying to set up the quarantine tank. I also, of course, added dechlorinator, and I use Prime, Seachem Prime, for that. And then I have just a little AquaClear 70 hang-on back filter back here. I have a layer of sponge on the bottom, and then three, about three cups, I would say, maybe a little more, of cycled biological media that's well-established. It's been in my 75-gallon butterfly tank. So that will kickstart the biological cycle in the quarantine tank. Of course, I will still test it every day to make sure that it's working fine. And I'm also probably going to do water changes daily just to make sure that the water is pristine so the fish can recover properly from shipping. Now the bag has been floating for about 20 minutes and Grim's really curious about it. And I'm gonna open it up, and like I said earlier, you wanna transfer the fish over right away. Thank you guys so much for watching another solid gold video. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed actually opening the box. <laughs> I will definitely keep you guys updated on her progress. I do notice that um, even it's been a few days now since she has been shipped to me and even in that short amount of time the dorsal fin looks much much better and she's really perked up since the first day that she arrived she's swimming around actively eating well right now I'm only feeding her soft foods like gel food because um, sometimes the fish can get damaged slightly or bruised I guess you could say internally from being shipped 
just from being knocked around in the box and everything like that. So um, it's best to feed them a soft food like gel food or even frozen brine shrimp, something like that, in the first week or so that you have them just so that it's something really easy to digest so it's not putting an additional strain on their bodies to have to deal with healing from shipping and digesting these hard pellets or something like that. Um, of course, you don't want to feed them in the first at least 24 hours after they arrive. I usually hold off feeding for a, a couple of days after they first arrive just to give them that extra time to recover without the added stress of having to work on digestion as well. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video and until then, stay gold.